So we had another Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine release go down today. So ladies and gentlemen, yet again, another chance to be able to secure an all-time classic Nike Jordan brand release. So this was exclusive access via JD Sports finish line. And to be honest, based on the fact I have neither of those stores available to me locally, I really can't tell you guys too much details about the process, but salute to everybody that secured a W for retail. We're now just a few days away from Saturday's big official release day. And I know many of you guys hit on the shock drop last week. So now that you got your pairs early, I would love to know how you guys are feeling about those joints. Did they live up to the hype? Did they live up to your expectations? Are you rocking with the material change? I feel like OGs kind of knew what to expect as far as this release goes, but we also did get an updated mold, new shape on these. So just love to know how you guys are feeling about these so far. And in my opinion, I feel like this Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined release marks a very pivotal moment for sneakers in so many different areas from all across the board. So in order to explain myself, we got to take things back to last year when we initially first saw that we were gonna be getting a Jordan 4 Brad Reimagined release. Now at this time, there was no images, just the information. Keep in mind, we were just coming off the release of the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. We also just came off the Jordan 3 Cement release, or I believe they were just about to drop the Reimagined Cements or whatever. So everybody was really excited about these. You know, everybody was kind of thinking we were gonna get like the aged vintage treatment on these. They would be an instant hit. But then once we actually got the first images with the leather finish on these it felt like the sneaker community was outraged but mind you you know these were those like real bad you know initial first looks i believe the shoe wasn't even put together all the way you guys know how it goes but then once we got a little more detailed images some on feet looks it seemed like that narrative quickly changed and majority of sneaker heads actually looked at this new reimagined leather finish as an upgrade so once the shipment started to come in you guys already know scalpers resellers they were going crazy with the early backdoor prices on these joints so before when the early shipments were coming in they were knocking people over the head for like six five hundred dollars and you would be actually surprised that many people bought in at that five hundred dollar price point but now that we got the release getting a little closer we're starting to see that resale price drop substantially and you know i hate to be the one to say this but tried to warn y'all remember the early rumors we were getting like 500,000 pairs of these and it seems like those rumors actually weren't even true and it seems like we're actually getting a lot more pairs than expected so not much room for resale you know Nike they've already upped the retail price point on these joints so they're really cutting out the resellers and I just want to say I'm not like against sneaker reselling altogether like that because yeah I remember back in the day we used to resell too but it wasn't like to this magnitude we used to just grab like you know an extra pair on release date to try to flip them that way you can maybe get your pair for free or at a discounted price and if the release was super limited if they would only let you get one pair you know you would then cop a little GS size you know throw that joint on Craigslist or eBay and let it do what it do but nowadays like this whole resale game has gotten out of control. It's actually trickled down to even the kids now to the point where they're so influenced by resale that they're determining if a sneaker is hot or not based off its resale value. And matter of fact, it ain't just the kids. I'm seeing grown ass men determining if sneakers are hot or not based off resale value. And we all know the market can be manipulated. It's really based off so many more factors as far as resale value than just like the demand and how hot a sneaker is. It really has to do with supply. And remember we got the early rumors, five 500k was the stock for these joints it looks like it's going to be substantially more so it doesn't look like there's going to be much value at all for resale value now in a last minute effort to try to save face on this release it looks like resellers and these kids they're trying to say that the dsg wristbands or whatever for this release were extremely limited so don't sleep on this drop which of course dsg wristbands are going to be limited one's particular store may only get like a full size run or a couple size runs so based off the demand for this of course wristbands are going to be limited depending on what area you're in so that's just a last minute little effort to try to save resale value on this i've never seen so many people caring about if a shoe has resale or not and at the end of the day these joints are hot it's an all-time jordan brand classic so salute to everybody that's going for these it looks like nike has finally found that sweet spot of up in the retail you know up in the release numbers and leaving no room 
for the uh, resellers out there. So resellers are sitting on like 20, 30, 50, hundreds of pairs of these scalpers bought into like hundreds of GS sizes and they are panicking right now. They don't know what to do. They're thinking, yo, should we flip these now while we got a little room for profit or should we long-term hold these? I find it hilarious when sneakerheads use the term long-term hold or whatever. Like that was never a part of the game. You know, we used to just cop sneakers to get fly back in the day, but I guess now it's all about resale or whatever. So let me know what you guys think about these and salute to everybody you know that held off paying resale and are able to secure these joints for retail on release date or if you were able to get them early in advance and while we're talking jordan 4 breads you know we got to talk about these black cement threes which we had breaking news go down yesterday courtesy of so savvy where they let us know the jordan 3 retro black cements are going to be making a return coming up this holiday season. So just like the bread fours, these are regarded as like an all time grail classic Jordan. I always say arguably top five because there's so many room to move these pairs around, but this is definitely like one of those ones. This is an all time grail. I actually had my pair back in 2011 is I wanna say when they dropped, but of course those had the Jordan on the back. These will now feature the Nike Air. We did get the Nike Air in like 2018 I wanna say, but of course, these will have the reimagined touch. Some people were kind of worried, you know, would they switch up the materials, maybe pull like a royal situation where we got like a suede finish, but it looks like so savvy. The people that leaked this joint first are saying it's gonna be like an OG reimagined type of treatment, kind of like uh, how we got with the Lost and Founds or with the White Cement 3. So this will be a marquee major release from Jordan brand coming up this holiday season. And it looks like Z Sneaker has, you know, has confirmed this information as well for all the doubters. So what do you guys think about this? Honestly, you know, this is a great release, but I wanna say this kind of like is too soon. I mean, we got these bread fours about to drop. Is this gonna steal some momentum from that release? Two bread releases, like in one single year? I mean, I know the black cement's on a bread, but I still consider them that. You know, OGs, we already know what time it is. So with this release, is Nike, you know, coming too soon with these? We got the black cat threes apparently supposed to drop as well. I feel like this would have been more suited for like a early spring 2025 release, but it looks like Nike, Jordan brand they're looking to knock everybody over the head with these releases they're flooding the market and of course as corporations do you know they got to continue to expand they got to up the numbers from last year so it looks like that's only going to be a win for us as we're going to have more Jordan brand classics in the market now will this black cement go down the same way these bread fours are going down there's no telling because we did also have rumors that Nike is supposed to be uh, lowering their supply chain but I kind of find all of that cap you know Nike they want to continue to capitalize on the market so I feel like they're just going to continue to be up in these stock numbers and flooding you know making these dollars continuing to up the revenues you guys know how it goes so huge news black cement threes coming this holiday and then of course we got these jordan four breads dropping this saturday so let me know what you guys think are y'all excited for this release do you already have your pair and are you rocking with these black cement threes and if you had to only pick one would you go black cement three Jordan Bread 4 reimagines. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Salute to everybody for tuning in. I'm JA. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love.